Krishnan, you always talk about so big people like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Swami Vivekananda, Ramakrishna Paramahansa, Shankaracharya Buddha. Now, one thing which always tingles like ting, like tingles me like you always talk about like I I like I'm really in love with all like all the stuff which you say. But the thing about here is like when I was exploring these things, when I was exploring these things, I like I was kind of high. Like now I know this now. Like now I know about this now that now that. And when I came to Upanishads, when I came to Advaita, that like that was the point when the high was over. Like now there's nothing to know. Like as you said, after the Upanishads, when you know the stuff about Upanishad, there's actually nothing to know. And Upanishads also says. Say, say that thing and like when i know all like all the stuff at that point i was a celibate like uh like not celibate sorry i think that's the wrong word but i was falling celibacy i was a brahmacharya as you said like the one who is in love with brahm who don't have to do anything with the body or with the or with the you know uh, and uh, about the sexual stuff but he's in love with brahm that's why he's not able to get the time and at that time i, I used to thought like i'm that person but now as the stuff is over and and you know i have read this thing and i if and if i watch any of your videos i get the same message stay unattached and advaita is true and stuff like that i get the same message either in this way or that way and this you know makes me fall again into the you know the stuff about the masturbation thing and this things give me so much clarity that i'm not um uh, like i don't have mumukshu i just have a ruchi I, I like i just have an interest okay this is a stuff and you know as acharya ji says mukti is a great thing to get so why not get it if i can get money i i can get cars i can get ferrari i should also have mukti so that's my interest that's my ruchi i'm not able to get the mumukshu and like the like like we said like the buddha said i am sitting over here if i don't get that like the stuff which i'm finding i'll die over here sitting here i i'm not getting that stuff and for that i'm seeking your guidance how to follow celibacy again is the meditation the right thing to do right now is it the right thing to become celibate again like to follow celibacy again what is the question what are you saying when i you when i started watching your videos i became a brahmachari and i watch your videos uh, time at answer my questions what do you mean by brahmachari what did you become okay uh, okay so uh, the first video of which of i like i watched your first video which was about lord krishna and from there i started you became a brahmachari what did you mean by that what were you doing or not doing i was focused on the stuff the mukti moksha and truth but i and i was not masturbating you are not masturbating okay then and after i got bored watching your videos i started masturbating <laughs> like this is the simplest way i can put it out <laughs> sorry for that no. <laughs> like i'm like i'm not talking about a day like i if i watched your videos in the morning and I, in the evening i masturbate not like that like for a long period of time like for several months you can say even yeah several months are you know appropriate i watched your videos from let's say January to October, I also read Upanishads. I also read Vedic Chaturmani. I did a lot of stuff, but I didn't meditate. But I didn't meditate. Okay, but I did everything else, like as you said, the Gyan Yoga, and I like I did many things. Like I not did, but I listened many things from you as well as from the other people who teach Advaita, particularly. And after that, it was over. Now I started masturbating. I had time, so I masturbated. So now I'm like, what comes to my mind is Karthik, you didn't meditate. maybe that's the fault you didn't have that thing like you didn't meditate maybe that's the fault so now start meditating and again like is it the right thing to do again because i am not able to you know it was my interest i was just not i was not watching web series i was watching your videos so in the duration you were watching the videos you didn't masturbate then you got bored after a few months and then you started masturbating and now you are saying that you want to start with meditation methods is that the position that is the position okay i mean why is it such a big deal first of all why are we talking about it uh because uh people say that one should not and i'm also feeling like when i do met like osho uh, osho said whatever you're doing do it don't you like you don't need to like these are stuff which comes in my mind when i'm like uh, like uh, you 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 drop all these big names you tell me on okay. your own why are we talking about this thing right now 
there are so many things to talk of why are you talking of masturbation because i think that there are better things to do which i'm not doing like the stuff you said like as you said that these are the cheap thrills you need to go to the biggest thrill the biggest level of truth where you can get biggest level of truth then the question has to be the absence of the big right when the okay. the big thing is not there so you say you are going for cheap thrills right and you are talking yeah, yeah. so much of the cheap thrills why are you not talking of the absence of the big thing maybe because you say that it can't be attained like you can't do anything to attain it you cannot do anything to attain it as you say like you oh the big sure thing is not this. wait the big thing is not about attaining the big thing the big thing is about fighting the stuff that keeps you away from the big that fight is a very real thing hmm? and one needs to take that up no but if i can't get it why should i fight yeah as if you are saying that usko paya nahi ja sakta usse experience nahi kiya ja sakta kuch nahi kiya ja sakta then called that's called love that's called love you cannot ever fully completely have it but it's still worth the fight and when you plunge yourself into the fight then you do not care about these small things mark my words i'm not saying these small things will altogether stop what i'm saying is that you will not care so much about them that you start raising them as the most important thing in your life when you are in a discussion like this to me it's as good as asking sir i pick my nose once too often what do i do about it or my hair has a lot of dandruff what do i do about it you pick your nose many times a day why should i care hmm? there is another organ dangling in your body you play with it two times a day why do i care what's, what's the big deal the thing is when you are in the in the right endeavor then such things stop mattering to you and i said stop mattering i didn't say such things stop they will continue because you have a chimpanzee's body and we very well know that monkeys do masturbate there are many species who do that so that's there in your biological self and it will take quite a while before you are freed of your biological self till that time you will continue to behave like the monkey and masturbating is a part of being the monkey are you getting it so you will stop caring and when you stop caring you often find that you also stop caring to do it when you stop caring for masturbation as if it's such a huge thing then often it happens that you also stop caring to masturbate because it's not a big deal when it's not a big deal then it stops being very enchanting why do you go towards uh, that activity of masturbation because there is a certain attraction a charm in it right that same charm is making you raise this question don't you see this question is in sense coming from the same point your masturbation comes when you masturbate on your bed or wherever you think masturbation is important therefore you masturbate right right now again you think masturbation is very important that's why you're asking this question you have to take up the big fight in such a complete way that you stop thinking that masturbation is important when it is no more important then often you find that it is no more important to even do it still a bit of it might remain and then you shouldn't care much about it but please do not use my words as license to indulge in sexual excesses 
right? Give yourself up to the right thing and you will forget all about these cheap titillations. And if some part of that still remains, do not worry much about it. What can you do? You are a monkey. The monkey has a penis. You are born with it. Huh? Are you getting it? Remember, how much importance can one give to picking his nose? Yes? Yes. One last question, maybe you can answer this together. Like two last questions, maybe you can answer these together. So I hope uh, I hope that I am audible. The, the the first question is, as you said, it's about love. You are not in love. That's why you are doing, like you're asking about masturbation, not about the truth. That's why you even need to meditate to, you know, get to the truth. If you are in love, that that then that love is in, uh, even enough. That's what you said. So if someone doesn't have love, then what can he do like as you said like from whatever we talked like i'm thinking maybe i don't have love so now what should i do and the second question is as uh, like i'm not uh, like as you talk about big personalities like chaitanya mahaprabhu swami vivekananda and, uh, don't drop names yes talk about yourself as you take no no like the question is slightly related to them that's why i'm saying as you talk about so big personalities so my question is that that those big personalities suggested some methods like one of them says uh, to do the bhajan to take god's name and one of them uh, press like like the one of like one of them even uh, you know opened up the whole stuff about yoga bhakti yoga karma yoga gyan yoga and this and that everything so and they all and they also prescribed many methods like uh, do this do this i'm talking about uh, someone uh, and i'm pretty sure that you can know like you know whom i'm talking about so why don't you talk about those things which they say like as they say uh, chant god's name or they say do meditation like someone said uh, i'm taking i'm not taking the name and how can i fall in love if i like if i'm not as you say like if uh, because i'm talking about masturbation that's why i don't have love i i mean like masturbation is more important what again is the question what should i what what should someone do if he doesn't have love okay first thing keep it short hmm? love is lost in the vast spread of trivia hmm? so keep it short what can someone do if he doesn't have love suffer that's a good thing to begin with hmm? go to people who know love hmm? and in burn in jealousy see what you are missing out on <laughs> sounds ridiculous this answer huh a spiritual teacher is advocating jealousy yes i am so what i'm saying is like that sounds good to me because even the so like nowadays the famous spiritual masters also say that do the satsang be with the people whom you want to be like and the traits will get transferred no the traits don't get transferred something within you awakens it is within you it does not come to you via transfer love is there in me obviously it is there but it is hidden beneath a pile of maybe porn magazines or something uh, Acharya, there are you know modern things nowadays people don't use magazines <laughs> and the last question why don't you talk about the other things which uh, great personality said like chanting all day meditating like i'm like i can like my like if i talk about my mom she doesn't take as much name as you know maybe like say let's take a random god she doesn't all, take his name more his all more. all these great names you are talking of did they consult each other before they said what they did okay okay but swami uh, vivek okay but one of them consulted their guru and you know he prescribed to do that or this no consulting someone is one thing learning some from someone is one thing but to take the same path 
as someone else did is a totally different thing, na? What exactly do you want me to do? You want me to tell you the same things that other people have said before me? No, I want you to tell something because you are saying the Nathan that you are saying the problem is because of this and we have to leave this. But what should I should I do? What should I do? Like after watching each and every video of yours, like I uh, I also have some of your courses, and even after watching the courses very attentively, very attentively, even with a diary and a pen, I write all the things which you say. After that, still this question comes. Okay, so now what should I do? What should I do? You are in a jungle. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. You are stuck, and you have blindfolds on. Hmm? and you are stumbling from here to there even the jackals are laughing at you nobody even wants to kill you because they are having such a good time just looking at you hmm? imagine a lion giving out a huge guffaw and then someone comes and releases your blindfold and then you are asking what should I do, what should I do, what should I do now there is the sun and now there is the light here in your eyes you still require someone to tell you what to do that's what Niti Niti is it removes the blindfolds and thereafter it's an insult if you still need to be told what to do Basically, I should, I like, I can do anything. If I. That's what freedom is all about. Not that you can do anything. Freedom is about now being able to do the right thing. Because you can now see. Vedanta does not impose itself upon you, it leaves you free. It does not even ask you to carry Vedanta with yourself. Vedanta says, be liberated and forget everything, including Vedanta. Be liberated. That's all. But you are asking, what will I do after liberation? What will I do after I gain eyesight? You decide what you will do. Why should somebody interfere? Hmm? Vedanta is height of liberalism. You decide. But you like to be told, you like to be handheld. Huh? Some heavenly teacher should come and show you the way. You see, you should dance like this. You shave your head and start dancing. Now you are happy. I have been given something to do. Somebody comes and says, you give up your clothes and walk around. Hmm? Like the crow. Growing your way into enlightenment. And now you are happy. I have been told something to do. Vedanta is for real people who do not like to be told what to do. Vedanta is for strong people. To use a sexist phrase, Vedanta is for real men. Hmm? And all the other so-called spiritual thrills are for boys. Vedanta is only for the men. Hmm? Now, I will be angering a lot of my fellow ladies, so advance apologies. When I say men, I refer to Purush, hmm? pure consciousness. And that pure consciousness is potentially there in women as well. So when I say Vedanta is for men, I have actually said Vedanta is for real men and real women. I cringe. Why do I have to explain every time? It's as if I'm apologizing. You cannot understand my vocabulary and I have to go on offering an explanation every time. So this is the last time. After this I won't.
थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच आचार्य